We all remember that scene in Jurassic Park where Dr. Grant and those two kids encounter the T-Rex, and in order not to get eaten alive, they must play on one of the T-Rex's weaknesses, its vision. They are able to fool the T-Rex into thinking they aren't there by standing completely still, disabling the T-Rex to see them, and enabling them enough time to get away. This is due to, according to the film, T-Rex's eyesight is completely based on movement, meaning basically if any prey animal is not moving in its environment, T-Rex will completely ignore the animal, registering it as an inanimate object. In simpler terms, T-Rex cannot see you if you're not moving, so don't move a muscle. Well, of course this is only a movie, and trust me, Jurassic Park definitely has much larger problems with accuracy, but did T-Rex really have such bad eyesight? The answer might surprise you. Believe it or not, a scientist once asked the same question, ironically on the same year Jurassic Park was released. In 1993, University of Oregon researcher Professor Kent Stevens created a project called Dinomorph, which purpose was to create digital 3D models of various dinosaurs which included the Tyrant Lizard King. After the digital modeling was complete, Stevens then wanted to calculate the vision of many dinosaurs. But before he could start measuring the dinosaur vision capability, he had to create a model of the eye itself. As a model for the eyesight of all dinosaurs of the study, they used a combination of crocodilian, ostrich, and eagle eyesight. And because all crocodilian and bird species are able to see in color, and that these two types of animals are from different ends of the dinosaur evolution, scientists have no reason to believe that all dinosaurs didn't see in color as well. It is also noted that all crocodiles and many species of birds have both excellent daytime and nighttime eyesight. After the model for these eyes were complete, the study went like this. By the use of a laser and a glass pane, Stevens was able to create one of those doohickeys that are in the eye doctor's place that measure your eyes. But this time, for dinosaur fossils. After measuring the visual fields, he determined the binocular vision, or the area that can be viewed by both eyes at the same time, of a few theropods. Allosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and a few Tyrannosaurs, such as T-Rex. You can view the results in the link in the description. How the study works is the wider the binocular vision, the vision seen by both eyes at the same time, the better depth perception and the ability to differentiate objects, such as other animals, of the dinosaur. The result of the study showed that T-Rex had amazing and exceptional eyesight. T-Rex's skull shape allowed for a perfect line of sight, allowing extremely wide binocular vision. You see, the skull of T-Rex is almost human-like in how the eye sockets are positioned. This dinosaur had front-facing eyes set in a narrow skull, which unlike some other dinosaur species did not obscure the eye sockets in any way. Due to this, T-Rex had no blind spots on the snout, and the line of sight of T-Rex is almost perfect and, and could easily distinguish between objects. But that's not all. The study concluded that Tyrannosaurus' eyes were the size of softballs, and were more powerful than ever imagined. Stevens found that the T-Rex's binocular range was 55 degrees, which is actually greater than that of a hawk, which are famous for their remarkable vision. Upon further investigation, it was revealed that T-Rex may have had visual clarity up to 13 times greater than an average human, in contrast to an eagle's eyesight, which is only 4 to 8 times better than a human's. But that's still not all. Steven's research revealed that T-Rex may have been able to distinguish objects reasonably clear from up to 6 kilometers or 3.7 miles away. That's about 65 American football fields away. That puts a whole new perspective on the term eagle eye. It should be T-Rex eye. That's downright crazy. So as a summary, depicting T-Rex as a basically blind animal is horribly inaccurate. In reality, T-Rex may have had the best eyesight in not just dinosaurs, but in the whole animal kingdom. Rex's eyes were positioned very much like a human's, aligned for a straight line of sight with no obscuring blind spots. T-Rex actually had eyes more powerful than a human and an eagle's. So when it comes to T-Rex eyesight... Darwin, keep absolutely still. Her vision is based on movement. That only works in movies. Alright, as an added bonus, I'll talk about the eyesight of the other dinosaurs in the study. The study showed that Allosaurus had binocular vision, but this vision was greatly restricted around the same level of the eyes. This is due to its snout or rostrum obscuring the width region of the binocular vision. Both eyes could indeed see at once, but it still had a limited line of sight. Carcharodontosaurus, on the other hand, had low to almost zero binocular vision. 
Cartherodontosaurus's rostrum or snout was so long and elongated that both eyes could not see the same object at the same time, meaning Cartherodontosaurus could only see an object with one eye. To add, Cartherodontosaurus's rostrum also created a massive blind spot in between the eyes. Both of these things severely limited its overall vision. If Carcharodontosaurus wanted to see you, it would have to turn its head to the side and only see you with one eye. Due to its poor eyesight, Carcharodontosaurus most likely hunted primarily by smell and sound.